Hi, this is Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com. Today we're going to take the Divi Circle Counter module and customize it with some CSS. So we have a new page, we set up a row, two columns, and we're going to put a circle counter inside. We don't really need the title, but there it is. We're going to set the number to 75. And for now, we're going to leave everything as it is. So what you need to do is go over to cssmatic.com forward slash gradient dash generator, and you'll come to this. Now, basically what this does, you use the, the uh, tool here to generate this code, which is CSS for creating this background. Now, because we're using the circle module, we want our background to be circular, so we click on this one. Um, we also, at the moment, it's going to be going, have, have color coming right out to the edge of the background. So there's two ways to do it. If you're on a white background, you can just turn this to white using this one and then dragging it down until you have a circle. Um, but so that's what I've done on these ones here. This one here, I've put a um, background on. So if you do it that way, if you if you're on anything but a white background, the white would show up here in a square. So it's probably best to set the opacity, which is up here. So now you can see here we've got fully opaque. So you want to set another stop to turn the opacity back on and then drag it down, drag this one down until you basically clear the edges of the square. So once you've got this set up, you can then go in and basically just play around until you get the colours you want. So if you drag off, that will remove the stop. Or if you click on, it will add a new one. And then you can set whatever colour you want. And just drag them along until you have something. that you like. You can get carried away as a obviously unlimited sort of possibilities. Anyway, we're going to go with this one. So once you've got the colours you like, you've got the opacity on the corners done, you want to copy text, which copies all of this CSS, the background. So now if you go back into your module settings and go into custom CSS. You can go to the percent container and copy everything from that site. Now if you preview, you'll be able to see that you have your background. So the next thing we want to do is change the colors of the actual counter to match. So we'll put this a bit more blue and then the advanced setting is the circle color. We're going to have this as <coughs> gray. <coughs> change that to 
Okay, so now the next thing we're going to look at is the text. So what I use for examples is <coughs> the CSS3 generator.in. There's, there's quite a few text uh, text shadow generators, so just Google and and use whichever one works for you. This realistic 3D is quite a good effect. So basically you want to copy not everything. So the text color we're going to do in the module and the font size in the module and the background color is what we've just done with the gradient. So we just want text shadow bit. So we copy that. Go back into our module custom CSS and go all the way down to percent text and paste that in. So you can see it's looking 3D but it will look better if we turn the text to white. So number text color we set white-ish. And we're also going to make it a little bigger. And you can, depending on, you can set it for smartphone, tablet, desktop. We're just going to leave this all the same. Okay. So. The last thing we're going to do actually is go down to here. We're just going to make make it a lot bolder. Font weight, say 800. And we'll preview that. We have our chunky text over gradient with the circle counter around the edge and if you just want the number turn that off and there we have a circle counter also if you look below there will be a link to download a layout file so you can just load all of these up and edit them as you want. But it's quite easy using uh, these two generators to change the text and the background. And I'll give you some customized Divi circle characters.